All right, listen to what I'm about to say. If you are somebody who holds back, holds back while speaking, while in interactions, you hold back your words, you're a person who stutters and you can't seem to just fucking put your words out there. There's something that is stopping your self-expression. And what I want to share in this video is something that I know about you. If you're a person who holds back your, your words. I actually know a lot about you because I was you. But I want to share one major thing that I know and a correction that you can make, that you can do, that you can implement implement that can make your self-expression more authentic and with less doubts and filters and anxiety and fear and rationalizations and let's get into it <laughs> so what i know about you i really want you to sit down and just take this shit personally all right because i guarantee you this applies to you there's not a little fucking 1% of people this doesn't apply to. I'm going to break all the rules to say there's exceptions for everything and say there's no exceptions for this. If you're holding back while speaking, you have some words you want to say but you don't say it, or your mind just goes blank when you're in, in, when you're in an interaction, You don't you're like I have nothing to say I don't know I have nothing to say here and this is common this is something that happens a lot in group interactions then this is also applying to you and what I know about you is that you are valuing the opinions of other people higher than you're valuing the higher than you're valuing your authentic expression. You are willing to sacrifice not being judged in order to, you will sacrifice not being judged even if that means you will hold back words, even if that means you will not say the things you wanna say. You will most likely say things that necessarily aren't exactly in integrity with you not necessarily all 100 percent true you might exaggerate some things and you might say things and get into conversations you actually don't fucking care about because you think it will make other people like you more or you think you will avoid judgment from that you'll discuss things you'll go into tangents you'll rationalize things you'll agree with things that you probably don't even fucking agree with because you are valuing the judgments, the opinions of other people higher than your authentic expression of yourself. And the reason why I wanted to share this is because it's not just like, this is a flex. This is me saying, I know what you're going through. This is something you have to address in order to overcome stuttering. You have to. Because it's not just the fact that it's holding back your words and it's like, oh, maybe I can learn to overcome stuttering while still holding back my words. So why is he saying this? No, you fucking can't. You fucking can't. In order to overcome stuttering, you must learn to naturally express yourself without the filters of fear, doubt and anxiety that is stopping your natural flow of expression from already coming out like you know it can like in a room by yourself you can fucking flow you don't need to think blah 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 and the reason why there's interference of fear doubt and anxiety stopping your natural flowing speech is because you're caring way the fuck too much about what other people think of you and until you're able to say the words you want to say until you're able to express your natural desires, express your natural wants, your needs, and your opinions and your thoughts, and not curl up and get small, but stay there fucking open and be like, these are my thoughts. <laughs> you can agree with them. Or you, 
you can hate me too. That's okay. These are my thoughts. Until you're able to do that, you will not overcome stuttering. You must be willing to go into those hard, hard zones where you're not holding back. And this is something that can be done con- can be done consciously. But what I feel is the most empowering, the most fast, the most direct way to address this fear of, of expressing your natural, authentic self is directly going into the fear of being judged. And this is something that is a main, main, main focus in my coaching program to help people who stutter express themselves naturally is addressing the fear of being judged in a safe, controlled manner with the right mindsets, with the right frames of mind. (laughs) It's also a mindset with the right feedback coming to me after getting judged and me correcting where they're putting the value me really highlighting what really mattered in the interaction and learning to feel good from being judged because you stayed in your truth and there's a a progressive way to get desensitized to this to the judgment until you just don't give a fuck anymore and that's ultimate freedom there's no holding back then and you can be your natural authentic self now if that made sense if all this shit made sense to you and you're like chase you're in a beautiful environment too thank you and if this all made sense to you and you want to dive deeper you want me to take a look at your decision take a look at your situation and see if you would be a good fit to work together with me and the family of clients i'm working with right now and you want to overcome your stutter authentically then you can you can look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one on one call with me we'll talk we'll discuss we'll do call stuff and get a get a good understanding of where where you are and where you want to go and if you would be a good fit we may work together all right so click that closest link down below in the description that's all right if you have a stutter and you stutter a lot on the phone i've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people who stutter in the past years i guarantee you you don't have the most severe stutter you may have the worst shame but that's something you have to address through desens- desensitization any fucking way all right i love you I'll talk to you soon.